What's up guys, this is Coach Chandler Statham from I Love Basketball TV, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make the most aggressive defenders in the world fear you guys. So for this first move, we're gonna work on the rocker step. Okay, a lot of people call this the double jab because we start with the jab, we jab the opposite way, and then we rip. Okay, so I'm gonna break it down for you guys, and then a good friend of mine, my 3x3 teammate, Alec Berryman, he's gonna come in and demonstrate different scenarios off of it, okay? So here we go. Anytime we're getting ready to catch, make sure you guys have your hands ready, we're low, so now we can just step into a jab, into all of our fakes, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna toss the ball up to ourselves, roll it out. Okay, as we step into it, we're gonna jab forward, like we're going around somebody. Remember, we don't wanna jab sideways. Doesn't matter how great your jab is, if we're jabbing sideways or going sideways, a defender's just gonna be able to slide and stay with us, okay? We wanna attack that, that front foot and we wanna be able to open them up, okay? So again, we jab forward on the inside of our knee, okay? We're not leaving it vulnerable out here where it could get ripped or picked. We're jabbing, okay, and just like a pinball, as soon as it touches the end, boom, we're bouncing right back, okay? So like a straight line, okay? So we're gonna go one, two, and as, as we jab the second way, boom, we're looking that way as we rip, okay? To really sell it, to really be deceptive. So here's Alec, here we go. Sell with those eyes, one, two, uh. Good. One, two. Whoop. Good. Jab even a little bit further, like waist to waist. Ba -ba. There you go. Nice. Good job, Alec. One more. Last one. One, two. Boom. Last one. Okay. Really sell it. Really sell it. Boom, boom. Nice. <laughs> I get something different, like a double jab, pull back, just freestyle off it. Whatever you want. It. So as you guys at home can see, there's a lot of different options, okay? Once you blow by this defender or you open him up and get him on your hip, there's so many things we can do. And Alec did a great job of showing it, did a great job of being deceptive with that double jab. And, and honestly, a few times of watching it, I kind of froze like, oh, which way is he going? Okay, that's how it should be. The more deceptive you are, the sharper your movement is, the more this is gonna work. You don't wanna do moves and they work four out of 10 times. You want moves that work 10 out of 10 times. So make sure we're getting really low, make sure we're able to do this inside our knees, at our hips, and even at our shoulders, okay? Because a lot of the times, you don't know where people's hands are gonna be, how, how close they're gonna be guarding you, and you wanna be able to get to that and be deceptive no matter what and make that read. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, okay, for our second move, we're gonna get into pump fake step throughs, okay? Imagine aggressive defender just draped all over you. Okay, the, the one thing in the world that they hate the most are pump fakes, okay? Because they're trying to anticipate your movements, they're trying to get up and block your shot, they're trying to get a, you know, their hand on the ball. So if you guys are coming down and able to just get to your one, two, or get to your hop, and then head fake, and really sell this head fake, okay? Not all head fakes are the same. I tell kids all the time, hey, get to a head fake, and, and you know, you see this, and it's like, you know, that's, <laughs> that's not selling anyone, okay? You gotta make sure you're low and you're really selling it. Coming up with the ball, the ball's going above your forehead. Boom, your eyes are at the rim, they're getting big, okay? Even like when I was younger, I know like for me, I wasn't as athletic, so I used to make sound effects and that would help, okay? As crazy as it sounds, I'd, oh! And guys would jump out of the gym and I would just whoop, pivot, keep the ball protected, step through, nice easy shot, nice easy layup, okay? So right now, you guys at home can follow along. Alec is gonna show us a couple different ways. You know, he's gonna rip right, rip left. Maybe get in the key. Maybe act like he's getting to a pull-up jumper. He's gonna sell it. And then you're gonna see how he rips the ball either over his forehead. Like imagine if somebody's hand is right here in you. You're gonna rip over your forehead. Keep them on your shoulder, lean in for a shot. Or left-handed layup. Or if their hands are up high, right, like most, like most people are, they're standing up, he's gonna boom, rip low, get to a different level, and then get a nice high arcing touch on it, okay? So here we go. 
Good sell. Yep. Good job. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to take your time selling these moves, okay? On all these ones you saw Alec do, he's, his eyes are up at the rim, he's selling, like going through that full range of motion he normally would into a shot, and then boom, he's out of it quick, okay? He's taking his time and really selling it and allowing that defender to bite and give them a chance to be like, oh shoot, a shot's coming, okay? And then boom, he steps through, he reverse pivots, whatever it might be. Okay, so now for this third one, for this third one, we're gonna work on retreat dribbles. Okay, a lot of the times aggressive defenders, they like to get all up in you, okay? The way that you're gonna be able to create space is by attacking and then retreating, turning your whole body. So imagine I'm attacking to my left, defender's trying to cut me off, boom, I gotta turn my whole body to the sideline, okay? My head is still up court. I still have my head on a swivel, I'm still, seeing shooters in the corner, my guy on the block where that help side is coming from, okay? And then what you do is you retreat two dribbles, okay? So just for a little more space purposes, we're gonna be here. I'm, I'm, I'm low, I'm surveying the floor, and on that second one, okay, I'm trying to get back as quick as I can. On that second one, boom, I open up and now I have space. And now you can step and change direction, right? Now you can get here, maybe he's overplaying this side, Boom, we wrap out of it, we spin out of it. There's so many things we could do. Okay, so you guys at home, follow along with what Alec does. Here's a few options for you guys. Eyes up, eyes up. Yep, one more. Good job, Alec. Good. Now you guys at home have a perfect example with Alec here, okay? He's got his base wide, he's low, he's surveying the floor, his head is up. He's able to make multiple plays, okay? If we're standing up, we're off balance, that's the worst thing in the world, especially against aggressive defenders. Okay, the best thing for you to do is be wide, be low, have this arm bar up, be ready to swipe, be ready to smack a hand off, and go. Now, finally, okay, for our fourth move that we're gonna work on, that makes aggressive defenders fear you guys. Okay, we're gonna get into hesitations. So right now, you're, we're just gonna keep it really simple, okay? We're just gonna step into it. Okay, so imagine you're catching, we just step into it on the closeout, okay, you're gonna see, you're gonna see Alec, boom, take a dribble, and whichever way he dribbles, he's stepping with that foot, okay? So as I step with that foot, I'm acting like I'm shooting the ball, okay? So I gotta stay low, I gotta get my eyes glued to the rim, I gotta bring this hand behind the ball, okay? And I gotta make sure my hand is on this side of the basketball, it's never coming under. Okay, or you're gonna get called for carry every time. That ball is still spinning in that hand. Okay, so we're gonna be here, sell, boom, and then we're exploding off of it and going. Okay, a lot of the times you're gonna be able to use this back foot, okay, this back foot right here to really just like explode off of. Explode off of, boom, and go. Okay, um, I know like a lot of people use it as like a negative step or a trigger step where they're stepping and maybe they start to step with this one and then they boom, push off of it, okay? And really explode like you, like you would see an a, you know, Olympic track star, okay? Um, so here we go. Good, 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 good. Just start with the regular dribble, not a, we're gonna get to those later. Good, 
Good. And then into a jumper. Has he, boom, right into a jump shot. Oh, okay. Good, good. Good. Now let me see you. Let me see a hezzy into a misdirection. You got that? You better watch out for those weights. You good? You good? You good? Just short. It's like we're in your backyard. Easy. Good sell. Good. Now that's four moves for you guys at home to make any aggressive defender fear you guys, okay? I hope you guys work on this relentlessly and really pay attention to these little tedious details. I know sometimes these videos get long-winded, but man, there's so much information that is overlooked by mediocre players. Great players are really gonna absorb all the knowledge that they're hearing and put it into play right away. If they know, man, I don't get low enough, you know, I, maybe I don't change direction well, maybe I don't change speeds well, maybe I don't sell enough, they're gonna listen to this and they're gonna figure out a way to make it better each and every time until it goes from a negative to a positive and one of the best attributes that they may have. All right, I hope you guys like this video. Do me a favor, hit the like button below, comment, subscribe to I Love Basketball TV. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Wow.